All right, Aubrey, now we have Saints team owner, Pelicans team owner, Gail Benson. She thought I, she thought I was a little sweaty how she yeah. went to fan me off here <laughs> with one of her throws right there. You came up, you caught us by surprise. We weren't ready for you a second ago. Now we are prepared, though. Let me ask you this. We talked earlier a couple of hours a couple of hours ago when we caught you with the Archbishop. How great of a day is this for the city of New Orleans after everything that we've been through? Not just COVID, but Hurricane Ida that impacted this area as well. You know, I feel like this is such a great day. We are so blessed to have this wonderful day and all these people out here coming together. It's just great for the city. From a business standpoint, you have several businesses, several high profile businesses, but from the high profile businesses, to the small businesses, is this what they needed after the struggles that everybody went through with the COVID-19 pandemic? I think it is, and I think this is gonna be great for us and for the city, and so this is just a great time. So. Look, you're a New Orleans lady. You grew up here, born and raised. I think that's why everybody relates to you and loves you. What is your favorite thing about Mardi Gras Day? Because you grew up on the West Bank, going to parades. You relocated to the East Bank, came across the river. <laughs> What is your favorite thing about Mardi Gras Day? Because you have so many memories, I'm sure. You know, I love being at Gallia Hall with all the people and seeing everyone here, watching Zulu come, watching the King of Zulu and then the King of Rex. And of course, this year we have James Reese, who is just phenomenal. I mean, what a great, great day. Yeah, if you could talk about his military history too, obviously a decorated Marine helicopter pilot. And what I think is very unique as we watch Zulu go by here, Flow 25, he wrapped some of his military history into the Rex pin, which is so unique. And I think that that's, it's touching because he gives back to so many vets here and he tries to work with the VA. And I think that's what Carnival is all about, is giving back, especially with Rex's Pro Bono Publico, which started after Hurricane Katrina. They've given 1.5 million. But if you could talk about just the culture and the traditions and how it's unique to Rex, King of Carnival, to do those interesting things. And giving back to the community is so important, and Rex certainly does that, as we do with the Saints, Pelicans, and everything else that I own. So it's been, it's just great. It's a good feeling to give back like we do. Is there something to be said? You and I are not doctors. We are not mental health professionals. And I think that there has been a tragic loss of life with the COVID-19 pandemic. But from a mental health aspect, is there something to be said for the psyche of what we're seeing here that it shows, look, we're gonna make it through this, and we're gonna be fine, and we're gonna get past COVID, and we're gonna do what New Orleans does best. You know, we're a resilient city, and we've come back from many, many tragedies, and so this is it, so we're back. All right, what do you think about the Zulu parade Oh here? my goodness, beautiful. it's fabulous. It's so, the costumes and the dancing, it's beautiful. Yeah, what is your pin here, real quickly? Oh, this is Rex. I know. This is Rex pin this year. Are you waiting for James Reese, I the am. monarch of merriment, to come? I am, I can't wait to see him. I right. sent him a message this morning, and oh. he, he sent one back to me telling me he can't wait to see us. I'm sure he can. All right, Gail Benson, Saints and Pelicans team owner, we appreciate your time. Thank you for all you do. Thank you for being here. And